Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today is Tool Tuesday and I got a tool anybody that works in mechanics, plumbing, or anything else needs. It's right here. So, let's check it out. Uh. Alright, so we're taking a look at the Depstech uh, DS550. Uh, I did do a video on the Depstech WF010. Uh, uh, which is a Wi-Fi, WF, Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm guessing this means direct screen or digital screen uh, for the DS. Uh, it is a 5 uh, megapixel and a 5 inch um, screen. So I'm guessing that's the 5 megapixel is the 5. And then the 50 is, I guess, well, it might be the other way around. Uh, but <laughs> uh, this one is a, a whole lot more of a professional grade than my... Uh, WF010. Uh, it works and I enjoy it. I think it has a 2 megapixel camera and this one has a 5 megapixel camera. I've already looked at it. It is quite uh, an in-depth video or uh, camera and uh, it is a bigger camera as well as a dual lens which means it has two lenses. It has one right here on the side. So if you're going through a cylinder wall, or a uh, if you want to look at a cylinder wall, uh, and you're going through a spark plug hole, you can look to the side. Uh, if you're going in the engine or anything else, then you want to look at a valve or the seat or anything else that is to the side. You got it. With the DS550, it also comes with this hard case. This case has cushion and storage and it goes in here nicely and you can sit there and you can put your book in here and here's all the accessories a mirror and a hook so this has a little bit bigger storage but I think it's made for multiple uh, cameras or uh, a bigger camera but this one has its own solid case that form fits everything for it so check it out get you one Yes, this is a uh, dual dual camera scope, and it works very well. Uh, I'm going to look in the intake of my 86 uh, F-150 that I paid $200 for, and uh, I'll just tell you, this engine is nasty. So uh, we're going to look on the, through the intake and see how bad it looks uh, with the new 550. So, yeah, let's take a look at this. So, all the features on here uh, are plainly laid out. So you have a camera button, you have a switch uh, for your dual camera mode, uh, you have a back button, up and down button for uh, light, brightness, uh, OK, pause, play, uh, settings, flashlight, which is on the back of here as well, and a power button. You also have a uh, charger port and a 32 gig uh, SD card in there. This is your indicator light for your charging and then this is a reset button for a hard reset uh, in case you can't turn it off for some reason. This cord is very 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 tough. It has uh, is a coated metal cord. It's long enough to do just about anything you want with it uh, and it does come with accessories for the cameras. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get in here and look at this uh, engine. So let's do that. All right, so we have the camera set up where I'm about to put it in one of the ports. We're going to press power on and hold it. The screen will light up. There we go. And as the screen lights up, like I said, this button, you can go all the way bright or all the way dim with the light. And right now, we're going to go in one of these ports. Ugh. Look at that. Alright, so we're down in that port. Looking around in that port. What is that? See, look. That looks like debris. It probably is. Alright, well now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to oops, camera B which is the sidewall. Alright. So that's the sidewall of the intake. 
All right, let's go back down there. I don't know why. Just getting it dirty looking down here. Let's go to the next hole. All right. It just doesn't have a whole lot to show me down there. With that camera view, we'll switch back. All right. There we go. And that's the plenum. Everything in there. This is just the inside of this nasty hole. So, see there's even debris down here. Gross. So, using this, it is very, very beneficial to find things or to see things you want to see. You want to see a scored up cylinder wall. You want to see a piston ring that's broke off. You want to see the top of the piston. You want to see the valve. You want to see inside a uh, water jacket or anything else like that looking for a leak or a crack. You got it. You can look in a radiator for it. I mean, just about anything. A gas tank. This is coated. So you can use this just about anywhere. Oops. Uh, look at that. Just nastiness on the tip. That's why I can't see anymore. But, yep. So, the link is going to be in the description below for you to check out both the WF010 and also the DS550. So, check them out. This will run you about $130. This will run you about $30. It's all in the preference of what you need. And I can tell you, I like both. This is more compact, but this is more accurate and better for looking further and deeper into places. So, uh, yeah. So, I want to thank you for stopping by the shop. Check out another video. Check out my link for... Uh, my project books, my project journal. Check out Teespring and whatnot. And uh, if this video helped you out at all, give it a like. It's for free. Free likes. So, thanks a lot for joining in. Until next time.